Thank you, Congressman. And thank all of you for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're all here, especially the leaders up here on stage, because we share a common vision. Affordable, reliable, high-speed internet for all Americans. Now we know optical fiber is the best choice to make that vision a reality. Now Corning actually invented the world's first low loss optical fiber in 1970. It is one of the most precise products and purest materials ever manufactured by man. Our vapor deposition process and that technique provides a glass that is 40,000 times clearer than a high-grade diamond. It's so pure that if you filled the entire Indian Ocean, which is four kilometers deep on average, with fiber quality glass, you could see the bottom. An optical fiber is about the diameter of a human hair, but it has the surface roughness of only about an atom. Now think about it this way. If the entire earth were that smooth, there would be no mountains any taller than a double-decker bus. So from a technology perspective, one fiber pair could allow half of the humans on earth to talk to the other half simultaneously. It offers virtually limitless capacity. Now, we see that as the capacity to transform lives. Research shows, for example, the communities that have deployed fiber networks saw a 35% boost in GDP. And even though since we invented fiber, the world has installed enough fiber to go back and forth to the sun 20 times. Only about 19% of US homes are connected. And that's why companies like AT&T are committed to building fiber networks to bridge the digital divide. Now, I've known John Stanky for 20 years, and he has been chasing this vision of connecting the unconnected for a long time. He's always been driven by the potential that he saw of networks to improve lives. Now, John, at this moment, is leading one of the largest fiber to the home programs in the entire world and he's expanding access to millions of new users. Now, thankfully, AT&T also values American manufacturing. And thanks to their commitment to Corning, we're able to build new capacity for optical cable. And we're creating the type of high paying manufacturing jobs that help people build lives raise families, and foster strong communities. And we're doing that right here in Arizona. Of course, to address the digital divide, we need more than just private industry. We need enlightened, inspired leaders in government. And we're thrilled to have my friend, Secretary Raimondo here. She is dedicated to the idea of Internet for All. Her leadership helped pass key legislation, and now she is working to bring that vision to life. Secretary, I'm glad you're partnering with leaders like AT&T and embracing future-proof technology that will get the job done right. At Corning, we want to do our part our new facility is the latest in a series of investments, more than half a billion dollars since 2020, that nearly double Corning's 
ability to supply in North America. We're here to meet the needs of our committed customers, and we're working with folks like Gary Bolton of the Fiber Broadband Association, who is with us today to help address demand across the industry. And we're really glad to be doing it right here in Arizona. Thanks to the support from our friends at the state level and the priorities we share with federal officials like Senator Kelly. You know the Senator has made a mark on a range of issues. We appreciate his efforts to ensure high speed internet for rural and tribal communities in Arizona. Stepping back, I just want to thank all of you for joining us in this exciting moment. We're engaged in an effective partnership between public and private sectors. And we're helping build the network of the future today. And we're proud to help realize the vision of affordable, reliable, high-speed internet for all Americans. Now I'll turn things over to Senator Kelly. Thank you.